that faster maneuverability item. It might not be the straight up blink. We might see that Aghanim's build, something like that from Sumail. But definitely excited to see what happens here in game one as we head into the game proper. Draft's all done. Enigma smoked up and heading out across the map to kick things off in this best of two. Which is the Should most exciting lane for you? I want to see this mid matchup. I don't think I've seen this matchup in a long, long time. Earthshaker has not been a hero, really, especially from a mid lane. So you should be able to see us nicely against Tiny Shirt. Your mid, your melee against melee, which means that Tiny is going to harass you with the three throw. But you get close, Earthshock, and Chant Totem. You hit him back. I don't think Earthshaker should have any problems last setting in this one. They also saw Tiny. If you're playing against Beast Ghost, there's 99% chance that this Tiny is going to go to mid lane anyway. So you know the yeah. matchup. And I'm pretty sure Sumail asked for it. It's like, yeah, give me that Earthshaker. Probably knows something. We'll see how the lane goes. Yeah, something We've seen a lot prepared. of new tech. A lot of new tech lately coming out from like the Beastmaster with the Ags. And some new heroes also implemented into the game. Warlock. So Max Warlock, up evil. Yeah, that's the best one. Sacred? I'm just going to get herded away from that top bounty rune. If this was a pub game, this is where you start flaming your Earthshaker. Bro, why don't you have Fisher? We could have killed him there. <laughs> Doesn't happen. I mean, Celestial Hammer was also available. But uh, yeah, some of these spells, like especially when you play a core, you maybe played one game where you're like, oh, I'm going to start with Fisher, then you lose a lane because of it. Never I don't think again. It's, it's, yeah, never again. You're just like, I'm going totem. Don't go for any kind of shenanigans early on. Yeah, it's that, uh, that old thought process of Enigma players. Like being forced to go Malefice level 1 just to get first blood. Eh, never really worth it. You want those Eidolons. Sumail wants the enchant totem. Gets his first deny. First last hit. So far, so good. Up against Dark Margot Tiny. Ooh, like you I'm said, Tiny's going to be harassing lane. back. What's happening there? MC. K1, starting with Acid Spray and Stinger with Fire Spirits. A lot of the times, Alchemist does start with a stable concoction, considering the buff that it received. Extra half a second duration stun. But they push out the wave real quickly, which means that they're going to get level 2 faster. And so far, K1 having a perfect CS. He's going to get yeah. all the creeps, it seems. Ooh, GH oh. with the one deny. And they also pulled the lane. <laughs> K1's and K1 like, pulls illegal it. move. <laughs> Sorry, auto attack. I don't know what that means. Auto attacking the pause button? <laughs> yeah. He has auto attack on. Nothing wrong with uh, that. That's how that's how I play, but uh, K1 doesn't want to does not want to have that. And yeah, you so, see the power of Earthshaker now getting uh, hitting back four denies on him. I did a great job. So with this alchemist level 2 do we do we see the concoction at level two? Because I think Alex in Eastern Europe oh, have we gone do. for this. Yeah, like, yeah. Two, Never two mind. One zero build. Oh, okay. K1's, K1's like, nah. just greedy. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I've seen this two one zero build where you go for two in acid spray and and one in concoction or one two zero, and go for the the Greedle's greed a little later on level four or so. But K1 says nah. I want money. Give me the money. And they've already pressured MC enough that he's no mana, very low HP. Probably going to work out for them. And something we talked about, the heroes being low on HP, Miracle moving at 350 movement speed already. Three slippers, Magic One going into phase boots next. Uh, I love that build. Just three slippers on Bloodseeker feels so nice to see CS with. And again, oh, yeah. playing against Phoenix. Phoenix, whenever he uses ability, lowers his HP. So Miracle has extra move speed. Yeah, so what's happened with these lanes up top? A miracle has held a wave between his tier one and tier two for a couple of waves now. Did we just have clockwork dragging, I guess? I was mostly focused on the bottom lane, but yeah, yeah. seems like it. I'm trying to upset the equilibrium. A lot of stats, Kuroki. Five branches. Not fully lane focused. Blood you know right what you there. call? Never mind. And branch was about. Branch Enchantress, <laughs> yes. You you knew what was coming. I didn't even finish it. When I said it in my head, it sounded so stupid. And then I'm like, well, now I have to say it because it's so dumb. Oh, no. Oh. All right, well, that's made my day. I've got tears in my eyes. 
Ja. <laughs> Kill Giants. Yes, uh, Kuroki, he's the, he's the branch manager of Team Nigma. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is. Oh, he's, done a, he's done a great job up top. Just hitting into Schofield. Why the high fiving mid? What's, what's happening there? Tiny and some male having a good time as well. 17 5 against 15 7, so pretty close between the two of them. What's uh, what, what's the defining point in this? Like, do we do we just have melee versus melee farm trade? Do they move into side lanes? What what changes in the mid lane? Support rotations? We might see Rubik rotating like six minute rotations, toss underneath Ooh. the tower, some male. I might change things. He's dead. Ooh, one Toss more hit. Toss the tree at him. And Dark Margo with a boot. He's fast enough to kill Sumail in the 1v1. Kuroki dies to Schofield top. And it all kicks off four minutes in. This right, is Beast massive. Coast in his lanes. Yeah, it's huge. Getting first blood on Tiny. Like, he's level five and a half. Earthshaker's about to crack level five. He has two extra range creeps to... Playoff, but yeah, great start for. I, I, if there's one player on side of Beast Coast you do not want to give good start to, it's definitely Dark Mago Tiny. Yeah, yeah, because he doesn't do this. There's brown boots into blink. He goes phase boots, run around, kill you, and get your blink off hero kills. He's he's not a sit back and farm kind of guy. He is all action all the time. Now he gets his phase boots. Can't wait to see him running around the map. He's got some decent lanes to play into as well. Like, already top with a Starbreaker and the Cogs. They've trapped Kuroki and Miracle inside. And Sacred has the damage to pummel the engine to the ground. Miracle in trouble too. Speedy, though, doesn't get caught up in the battery assault. Thankfully, we've got a couple of low HP heroes out on the map. But Miracle not having the freest of times. He's got 24 last hits. Starting to lag behind a couple of the other cores now. And he's still getting chased down. Sacred and oh, Skullfield no. going for it. Dark Margo makes that move bottom. Takes down DH. First rotation is there off the back of his phase boots, like we were talking about. Tosses the Beastmaster and MC. He might be dying bottom as well. We've got Margo. Avalanche in three seconds. Phase boots are up. He's ready to dive this. Oh, the tree placement. MC puts the happy little tree down off the branch. Avalanche is there, but Dark Margo's struggling to finish off the job. GH saving the day. No, he's not. He can't defend the Beastmaster against Dark Margo's magic. Whew. What a great start for Beast Ghost. Dark Mago, first rotation, like all these small things do add up. First, you use 50 gold on branch, uh, like then you still die. Rubik uses a TP, comes back to bottom lane. So that's extra 150 gold down the drain. Plus you're getting the kills and also your alchemist is farming. Yeah, and I, I mean, Sumail's making a move here. I was wondering if we'll see the same kind of aggression from the Earthshaker because you're losing Kuroki top. Sacred and Schofield just holding hands and finding kill after kill. Oh, some mail. I mean, you don't want to echo slam just to clockwork here. You're going to have to fish a Schofield, but you want to wait to see if he tries to TP first. Cogs and a little movement through the trees. Gets caught out by the enchant totem. So some mail has spent a good minute and a half walking top just to get a clock kill. It's a lot of time. I'm not going to say wasted because they still get something out of it, but there's a big difference. K1 already off to a great start. 4,000 net worth on Alchemist, complete free farm, sitting at 48 CS compared to Bloodseeker who has 32. But in terms of net worth, there's a huge difference. K1 is getting beaten and battered by MC and GH, but he's got Chemical Rage. He cracks level 6. Oh, yeah, he acid sprayed and ran to the Rage Creeps to hit level 6 and allow Stinger to come in and swoop towards GH, thinking about the kill here, but he's popped his stick and has a fairy fire. Rubik survives, and Stinger might be the one going down to the boar slow, and MC's hit. K1 fighting back, but the axe has come. Mind control finally getting something out of this bottom lane. But they've not shut down K1 at all. Tom, miracle. He's ruptured up sacred. Schofield can't really help out anymore. Everything's on cooldown. So just leaving the Dawnbreaker to fight against some male as they kept the Earthshaker up here. But look at right, who's here arriving. Here comes Darth Mago. Darth Mago's here. Some males trapped in the cogs trying to fight Schofield but pushed around by the Tin Man with a battle plan. And Dark Mago echo slammed but some male can't get anything more done. A double kill for Dark Mago and disaster strikes for Nigma. Man, Dark Mago, he's uh, dumpstering this game. At least they get a return kill in the bottom lane. They kill K1. 
but so Dark Mago important. Tiny, yeah, they're gonna refill his bottle. Sacred position three, refilling the bottle <laughs> off your mid laner. This is gonna be 10 minute blink dagger on Tiny. He's almost the most farm hero in the game, keeping up with the Alchemist, which is pretty nuts. Yeah, and this is the thing, he gets phase boots and he just runs around using phase boots as if they're a blink. Just wait until he gets Tumblr's toy. Somebody please go kill some neutral creeps. Get this man a Tumblr's toy. Miracle now, given the job of holding that mid lane. Kuroki starting to do Ench things. Getting into the bottom jungle, scouting, trying to close the, the bit of map that Beast Coast have down bottom. And we'll see K1 evacuate the vicinity as well. But they could reclaim this. With Dark Mago's movement, they could absolutely kick Nigma out of the bottom jungle. Maybe even defend their tower if they want to. The stop lane playing so aggressive from Beast Coast, getting multiple kills. Sacred does have Solar Guardian available, so if they if Nigma tries to make a move, they need to be ready for an extra hero that's going to join. Oh, they absolutely do. They'll see Stinger. Grab him with a telekinesis into Enchant Totem, but not enough control there because there are no levels in Fisher from Sumail. Don't have the ability to finish him off, and Dark Margo's here to kill off Kuroki. K1 concocts up a nice little vial of danger. And now Nigma gonna have to give up control of the Bop Jungle, but in the meantime, Mind Control with his helm has killed off the Tier 1. Little victories. Something. Yeah, but K1, he's still gonna sit bottom. Stinger will be sitting behind him, even if they decide to make a move. We talked about this Solar Guardian. So this does allow K1 to stay in the lane for longer duration. Maybe for... Okay, not again. Sumail? Yeah, that's just a level 6 clockwork. 10 minutes in. Hookshot Cogs, set up for the Tiny. Probably going to be losing Schofield and even yeah, expending the Rupture to kill him off there. Miracle had to do something about it. But in the meantime, you've got a DD bottle on Tiny and his blink is being delivered. This is not blink. This is face boots, bottle, wind lace, magic wand, blink Tiny 10 minutes into the game. Like we said, considering the start, it's going to be 10 minutes blink dagger. And now he's he wants to hunt. Who does have... Let's see if Clockwork decides to TP mid. He's going cool down. All right. He's just going to get a solo. Historically, Shaker did struggle against Clockwork because you can't really do anything. Sumail was also thinking about getting a Blink Dagger first item, now buys a second Bracer, Power Treads, invests into these smaller items, and wants to get Aghanim Scepter. So this is going to allow him to be more maneuverable into the inside like the team fights and everything. And Beast Ghost, they're off to a hunt. They want to get something done on the top lane. They want Miracle. Let's see if he shows up. Hey, he's tucked in behind that tier two. Very afraid. Sumail a little in the open, clearing out a neutral camp, and there's the jump. Avalanche and hook shot overlapped a little bit. Echo slams the two of them, but Sumail still trapped in the cage, unable to fight his way out. Enigma thinking about fighting back though. Rupturing Schofield, Dark Mago still battling away, and they've got the Solar Guardian to save the day. Even a mech, a sacred, comes into play around this top jungle area. Dark Mago's ready to go in again. Straight back we go. I mean, GH is just like, God, how does he have a blink already? Jumping on me multiple times, and Kuro, level 5 Enchantress, what are you going to do? Get burned alive! All the fire in the world from Stinger and Sacred. Poor little Bambi. Crispy right. venison is on the menu for Beast Coast. <laughs> Dark Mago involved in 11 kills, 12 minutes in. So he makes her rotation, he gets a solo kill. Every minute, this guy is somewhere. Again, he got 10 minutes... Blink Dagger, 10.20. 12 minutes into the game, has another... Ooh, Nearly. Another thousand gold in the bank. And GH this time, just a little too distant. Level 6 Rubik now, so we have some steel capabilities. That's some pretty decent spells to steal. Anything from Tiny feels good. Yeah, mostly Celestial Alan, Hammer. this is the spell you're looking for. Sunray, yeah. he doesn't even have a point in Sunray, Fire Spirits, they're okay. Acid Spray is going to be the big one, I would say. This is Radiance. This is Radiance. K1, he can do whatever the hell he wants right now. He's in a triangle. While the rest of the team is fighting. Once he hits the BKB, he will be joining with the rest of the team. And also opening up the Roche. Once he has the BKB at i to say that they feel pretty comfortable just fighting near the Roshan. Yeah, just keep taking those little scraps. 
They're clearing out MC's army down bottom. Dark Mago is even going to avalanche toss the Dark Troll. Yeah. I think MC yeah, grabbed the helmet. At this point. GH uh, needs to be careful. Hookshot is available on Schofield. Stinger trying to bring him low enough. Schofield scouted by the Ench Centaur. Miracle. Going to rupture the Clockwork again. Let's see if we have a Solar Guardian coming. As Dark Mago has dived in the back. Found GH. Solar Guardian. Not going to work out this time. As they also drop the Supernova. Zoning away Miracle and Kuro. Uh, lose Sacred though as MC manages to pick off the Dawnbreaker down in that bottom lane. A couple While of decent was... pickoffs there for Enigma. Yeah. Solar Guardian. Mind Control stuns him. Claps him with the Hellbear Smasher. Gets the hill. Mind Control having a really good time. Second most farm hero in the game. Hits the Helm of the Overlord timing really nicely. 14 minutes. But yeah. <laughs> Alchemist invading enemy jungle. I believe he's also stolen some stacks. Oh, good lift from GH. Stop Stinger mid-dive. He's attempting the TP home, but the damage coming from Ench and Rubik, not enough. And now Dark Mago with the DD rune is popping it in onto Miracle. Slaps him. Bloodseeker down. Schofield is in the cogs and trapped with the big old fireball of the dragon. So again, the clockwork trading his life for a, a bigger ticket kill in the Bloodseeker. Keeping this streak of Dark Mago going. He's 10 and 0 on the tiny right now. But signs also of these life type from of Nigma. trades. Yeah, do, do benefit Viscos because they want to make this gap even wider between two carries. Bloodseeker. Miracle finished off Maelstrom, going into BKB next, while K1. BKB is about to be finished on top of Radiance, doubling his net worth in the next 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, we see a big shift from the Earthshaker too, right? He was thinking about Blink in the first 10 minutes or so. Now he's got the Treads, Double Bracer, heading into Aghanim Scepter, so wanting to scale and become uh, more of a right-click core than just the Blink Echo one-and-done kind of style from the ES. But this is the timing you were talking about, hey? BKB for the Alk. Fighting time for Beast Coast. Rally around Eternity in the mid lane. Look to take down the Tier 1. And they should have everything ready. Supernova's up in three jump seconds. Him. Straight in onto the Earthshaker. Chain stun with a concoction. Samael trying to hold his ground, but now burnt by the Sunray. Tier 1 gone, and Nigma just in no shape to fight in that mid lane. As soon as he saw that Fisher, Dark Mago jumps in, gets stuff done, knew exactly where he is. Echo Saber now done. 14 minutes, 16 minutes into the game. So, down for some scaling build. Let's see if they can drag the game out to get to that point. In the draft, we were looking at this. Last pick for Enigma. Bloodseeker seemed good as a pretty fast-paced hero to fight, get in the face of the Alchemist. So far, hasn't been able to do that too much. As GH is scouted down in the bottom tree line. Hook shots there from Schofield. Beast Coast gather up their supports to find a snipe on the Rubik. Dark Mago does have Envis Rune to work with. Let's see who he, he's going to find. He's pinging out... Miracle, because he's been underneath the vision of this Observer Ward that's sitting inside the camp. And yeah, these type of wards on, will Spice. provide vision for pickoffs and also stop the enemy team from farming. So disgusting when you look at the net worth board. Alchemist at 14,000. Beastmaster, the next closest to eight and a half grand. I have a Salt Kuras soon on K1. No signs of slowing here for Beast Coast. What's it, what's it going to take? You don't have that surprise blink echo. You're waiting for Ags on Earthshaker. Bloodseeker needs BKB desperately. So it feels like the next three minutes is, is Nigma Galaxy kind of waiting for their items to come to them. And the entire map belongs to Beast Coast. Pretty much. K1, he died one time. MC getting scouted. Oh, he doesn't even cancel his blink with the boars. Does allow oh. him to blink in and get the stun going. Still going to get chased away. here. Yeah, there's no escape. Everybody here gathered around the Beastmaster. And K1, he wants the last hit. They'll give it to him. A little more time for MC to roam around and get another boar out. But that's just more gold for K1 to gather up. So much Grievel's greed money flowing into his pockets. Radiance Middle Tower is under they even had vision in the lane near this tier 1 top tower. I think it's time to go and try to kill Roshan. Maybe they will wait, are waiting for another set of items. AC, if Alchemist keeps farming like this, it's going to be done in a minute and a half. 
And then the basher a minute later. <laughs> Light him after item. It's nuts how much this hero can farm. <laughs> they caught him. They caught him again. Yeah, straight in. Schofield and Dark Margo. Another Echo Slam for Sumail comes to very little. Miracle is going to fight Schofield and get a pick off on the clockwork. It feels like, yeah, of these nine deaths, five of them are Schofield's clock. Supernova expended, so Enigma, another little victory there for them. They can count that one. And Dark Margo has Blink ready. No vision to play with over on his right-hand side, just using his illusions to scout and see who he can find. It would have been Miracle, but Bloodseeker's back to Fountain now. We'll steal some of the CS from Miracle. Miracle is still a recipe away from his BKB. So this is going to allow Beast Ghost to farm... Another set of items and still take a fight. Unfortunately for them, Solar Guardian was not available. Guardian Breeze plus Solar Guardian. You get ruptured or you get roared. You know that it's coming. Yeah. Every single time Sumail shows on the map, it feels that Schofield is there ready with a hook shot. Mind control. This observer sure. caught a glimpse of him. It did, yeah. Yeah, they pinged him out. It's just classic Schofield things, right? He's... His favorite style of play is just to plant himself in enemy territory. He's on the enemy side of the river. He's waiting on your high ground. He's ready to set things up. And they've got the ability, yeah, with Solar Guardian, Blink Tiny, to close the gap and help him out if he does find a target to jump on. Right now, Double Hawk guarding out that Ancients on the Dire side, seeing where Beast Coast are heading. They knew exactly where they're coming from. And oh. they're too afraid. So for now, whole Nygma squad forming the top part of the map. AC, about to be finished after this creep camp, K1. This is some insane amount of farm. This might be What's... some records even. <laughs> yeah, it's 20 minutes in, he's hit 900 GPM. That's pretty ridiculous. Right, it's only going to increase if he keeps this up. 2-1-2 on the Elk. No, no, no amazing kill score. Tiny's gathered that for himself, and it's an invis Tiny right now. Wandering Again. through the mid lane. They might have smoked underneath the ward. Let's see, Kuroki in a good spot to die oh, or break the, break the gank. Let's see. He jumps across. Oh my conscious. god. Solar Guardian as well, and K1 just shreds them. GH and MC didn't stand a bloody chance. Kuroki's being hounded by Schofield. Four seconds of a hook shot, and I would imagine he just chucks it at the ant here. Come on, little Bambi, where are you going? Oh, don't even need it. My alchemist has a blink dagger on top of his AC radiance. Gets the kill on Kuro. And now, it's what do you reckon? Time. There it is. He does provide 12 extra armor to his teammates with level 15 talent and the AC. And also reducing enemy armor by 12. So that's pretty insane. Imagine tiny right clicks. He does have Crystallis. Seems like Dark Mago is going to be the one picking it up because he made the slot for himself. Schofield dies. Samael getting a solo kill. Extra 500 gold for him. We'll push him closer to Aghanims. Another Echo Slam for a Clockwork kill, though. That's two minutes now with no Echo. But yeah, you're right. Closing it on Ags. Good sign for him. And a Rupture on Stinger. Finding the Phoenix, but a four staff to low ground with the TP gets him away from danger. Now Miracle, he's got to be careful. Once that Centaur creep, but you see Dark Mago lurking. K1 wasn't too far away. Dark Mago is controlling all the runes. It's most of the time double damage or illusion or invis. It was illusion one time where he scouted things out, blocked some camps as well. Samael about to finish that Ags. That's going to be a big one. He can maneuver, maybe dodge some of the spells. He sees concussion, concussion getting on top of him. Maybe he's going to be able to run away um, now. Another oh. item, another kill for Dark Mago. Another DD rune. Uh, yeah, I think I think he's had like every rune in this game, honestly. He's had invises, he's had double damages, everything he needs to win this. 11-0-7 on the tiny now. And K1 just going for the tier 2 top. Clear out all the objectives and kind of force Enigma Galaxy into that bottom right-hand corner of the map. The only real safe place they can be. Some good dire vision, though. You know, Kuroki's keeping tabs on them. Ward coverage all the way from mid lane through to the Radiant Ancients and in that top jungle sees where Beast Coast are playing. It's just you can't really utilize it. That's just vision to see them. Not really vision to play into. Yeah, the Dark Mago. He's hitting the high ground. Is he? K1. 
Yeah, he is. He's the one who's going to be the sieging tool. He's holding the Aegis. Let's see if they can burst him. Acid Spray stolen by GH. That's a good one. Mm, clear Tracking out the way. their armor. I mean, we've talked about 12 extra if you're sitting inside the Acid Spray in near yeah. AC. Oh, it's pretty nutty. Oh, it's one by one going for towers, though. Beast Coast staying as this five man death ball around the, the over farmed Alk. And K1 is closing in on that 1k GPM. 975 gold per minute currently. Yeah, when he reaches it, he's not going to be K1. He's going to be 1k. <laughs> there you go. Another tower about to die. Ancient Black Dragon. Trying to split push here in the bottom lane. Keeping them in the game or at least trying to do so. Yeah, it creates a nice kind of vacuum in that bottom jungle where Miracle can gather up farm that otherwise he wouldn't be able to. Oh no, they jumped him. Oh, K1 gets off his ulti though and the Solar Guardian's there. Sumail does have Echo Slam, trying to jump away but clipped by the Battery Assault. Solar Guardian coming back in from Rubik. Four staffing across but concocted and stunned. In and out, in and out, that's how we like to play. But Nigma losing their Rubik and still having to fend off an Alk and Tiny. Margo jumps in, good Fisher stops him from tossing. And he still has Aegis though, so even if you kill him the once, has that secondary life to play around with. So Mail being forced away, making sure there's no Echo play. And Miracle trapped in the cogs, so unable to really deal with the Dark Margo Tiny. They nearly get the tier three, but Beast Coast have to retract from that high ground push. Someone needs to kill this ancient black dragon. It's been causing problems in the bottom lane. They can push it out. Kill the tier 2 tower. Forcing out buyback from GH. Kind of killing his item progression as well. Right now, level 10 Rubik. Dark Mago Tiny. Does have enough money to buy a full BKB recipe. Disassemble that Echo Saber. So you'll have two BKBs. One eight, one nine second. A Bissell Blade down on Alchemist. Like, you don't click on the hero for a minute. Oh, ding, he has ding, another ding. item. He's done it. 1,003. Hector, 1K. <laughs> I'm going to keep it up there, though. Keeps dropping down to 999. Needs the, the income to keep on flowing. And a long-range hook shot. Hello, Schofield. Just trying to have a go at Kuroki there under the vision and Dark Margo diving tier three. Cogs will block Ooh, him he away. He might be in trouble. They need a four staff. They do, and they've got it. Stinger pushes him down to low ground. Nicely done to make sure nothing bad comes of that. A decent mind control attempt to is bottom lane. He's there. Split pushing. Skullfold doesn't have hookshot available. This is the type of game that they need to play. Maybe try to get a K1. pick off some mail, jumping, but K1 quick with the fingers. Did they have vision? He just he just saw him coming, I guess. I mean, it's a flying things. cow. What do you expect? <laughs> You'll probably see it too. <laughs> I mean, that was a that was a real thing back in the olden days as well, wasn't it? Putting cows into catapults and launching them into castles. You're right. Diseasing your opponents with rotten rotten cows. That's what Earthshaker's trying to do right now. Alchemist having it's none the... of it. Gobble up, spit out, punch. <laughs> That's yeah. the combo, medieval one. Kuroki. Rot your enemies. Oh. Another attempted hook shot, but now we've got the concoction follow through. And Alk with a chemical rage, just enough attack speed. Kill off the Enchantress while GH sprinting away while bottom lane, Sacred, he's being gone on. Gets roared up by the Beastmaster. Echo slammed and killed off. Beast Coast trying to react to this and blinking forward. Dark Margo, he's under vision right now. They see him coming and MC is just going to go for the TP home. They're out of there. A quick pick on to the Dawnbreaker, and away they go. Kill this dragon. A little ring around the Rosie. And, uh, yeah, they will find him with the courier. And the there black dragon trying Abyssal to find blade. a courier himself. <laughs> 255 for Schofield. Next Roshan available in a minute and 40 seconds. Beast Coast, even though they had 20k gold lead... I think they should wait for it. Kill this last year with two tower. Looking at the gem. They don't still have a gem. I would love them to pick it up. In a game like this, you want to get rid of all vision from the enemy team. Stinger is sitting on 2,000 gold. Ooh, Fisher comes in slightly too late. 
Yeah, almost clipped onto the Phoenix there. Uh, swinging wide down into his bottom lane. Only one outer tower standing. Full HP tier 2. Not sure if Nigma are in a spot to really defend it. And they've just picked up a basher on this Bloodseeker. Earthshaker needs his BKB though. And that's why Sumail is out on that left-hand side of the map. Trying to farm BKB. But they're getting gone on bottom. Hook shot into concoction. And mind control can't even roar them. Solar Guardian is also flying in as they dive into the mid lane. Miracle bashing up Sacred, lifting with the GH Telekinesis. But you've got to be so afraid when an Alchemist is charging towards you, diving your tier threes and fours and getting another kill. Rubik gone for 60, so these racks cracked wide open. Free buildings for K1. Probably Let's thinking about going still... top now as well. Yeah. I was maybe thinking if they want to go mid lane, they know that Rubik doesn't have buyback, Beastmaster. Also, should not have it because he invested all of his gold. They saw AC recipe in his backpack, and now they even dropped down to Wraith Pact. Dark Mago. Seems like they want to wait for Roche. Let's see if the Roshan respawn timer. It's going to be a minute and a half, keeping things in balance. I mean, they ran out of creeps. Backdoor regen kicked in. Sadly, couldn't keep the push going. K1. His concoction is going to self-stun. Doesn't have BKB. And surrounded Ash. by Nigma now. They've got the control and they've got the damage. Look at that gold. Look at that. Yeah, look at that gold. <laughs> That's a big one. So That's a Roshan lot of money. is going to respawn now? 10 seconds before Sumail. Still hunting. Does have that BKB available. Oh, Schofield aggressively dives in with a hookshot. Supernova down. They can't focus it. Trying to turn. And Miracle Sumail punch it. They get it. Egg is gone. Sacred can't really connect with the Starbreaker. Miracle is able to chase them now. The turnaround from Nigma fighting in with Sumail's heavy hitting. They pick up a double kill on Miracle. Classic Beast Ghost. Is that right, Gary? <laughs> yep. I mean, Looking that was so pretty nuts. You decided to take a fight without your carry who is worth 30,000 net worth at the moment. So that's like half the enemy team, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, add up the Bloodseeker and the that's Beastmaster. Got? I've got the yeah, same yeah, amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm doing maths in my head like, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, a, he's a monster, but they, they can deal with him. If he's alone, they, they can kill him. GH now looking. Trying to get something done. Because they already had Boots of Bearing, Schofield picked one up. I saw Stinger also trying to get it. But decided to opt to go for Solar Crest after finishing off that 4 staff and Shard. Yeah, he outright bought the Solar Crest in that last fight. And just bought it completely. And again, uh, and props to Kuroki, Dire Vision. That sees pretty much everything Beast Coast have been doing. Watch Schofield come top, saw Dark Mago heading mid. So they know that Sumail is pretty safe up here, especially with two heroes behind him. And they can keep MC and Miracle farming on their side of the river for now. But this is this is an important point. They've got BKB Earthshaker. They've got a pretty powerful Miracle Bloodseeker. This is why I wanted them to pick up an early gem, because your five was so farmed, you can invest into it. You're also playing into Beastmaster, so getting rid of the Hawk. Plus that vision, Kuroki, as you said, managed to get down some really deep, really good observer wards that did allow them to get like certain pickoffs, and now inside Roche, but they go. Well, this could be huge for Nigma though. If they can test this, if they can fight around Roche with the tools they've got, could swing the game completely. They're only a set of racks down. And Beast Coast, they can feel this coming. They don't commit to the pit, but they're still under a double dire vision. Dark Mago shows mid. They're going to jump. They get the rupture on the tiny. Alchemist Clockwork aiming Earthshaker and they burst him. So Mail's gone. They do trade for Dark Mago though. So mid for mid. But Nigma the ones that are running and hiding. Rocket flares scouting and giving vision for K1 to keep on chasing. Blood rights down but the concoction comes onto MC. Poor Beastmaster destroyed by the Starbreaker. And look at Schofield. The Ogre Seal Totem and the Force Staff just flopping towards the rest of Nigma Galaxy. So Roche now still a definite possibility for them. As MC tries to control the waves and make sure that they can't reach the dire base. They do use a lot of things. Rubik's Lift. Rupture. 
on Tiny, who is kind of isolated. No one around to help him. Now inside the Roche Pit they go. There's no way Nigma contest this one. Maybe they can try to steal it with some like, four staff play from Kuroki, but uh, that's about it. Setting out the Warpine Raider inside to see what's happening. And try and deny the Aegis or something. Not going to happen. Radiant get the kill and the Aegis. As well as the shard there. Stinger will hand it over to someone that can actually Tiny's use the it. only one who does not have it, so won't oh, yeah. belong to him. Everybody else bought it. Okie dokie. Upgraded tree grab time. Next move for Beast Coast. Looks like just going to re-grab the outpost. Top barracks. Don't have a protected... I don't have a tier 3 protecting it anymore. But they will group up around it. This gives you the chance though as Nigma with the Echo Slams, the Blood Rites, the Fade Bolts. To do an awful lot. And you see the big damage that Sumail can dish out just with a Crystalis on top of his Ags Enchant Totem. Clears out the Creep Wave immediately. But down goes that first building. Range Rack's gone. And Beast Coast propelling themselves forward. They know they can clear this one out. Dark Margo jumps. And Chantress caught. Not enough heal in the world to save her. And she's dead for 50 seconds. The rest of Nigma wanting to play with this Schofield Clockwork. But Sumail's BKB is going to be wasted. So they lose the barracks. They spend BKBs. And they don't really get anything in the trade. That was clean. Schofield also being super annoying. Gets hookshot on Earthshaker. Then has either Force Staff, Ogre Seal Totem, or Jetpack to run away from his own cogs. There's still a tier 2 tower bottom, so they need to clear that one. And speaking of runes, Tiny, he is the one again controlling all the runes. Having that arcane, and look what he's queuing. Another Daedalus. That means that Alchemist oh. is going to buy Agadim Scepter for him and give it to him. Oh, that's that's really nice. He's going to be a real heavy hit to this tiny. Uh, coming straight down that bottom lane. Enigma, no, they can't let them reach the base. Trying to come out and hold a high ground somewhere. But Miracle out in the open. Needed the force and the glimmer to get him out of the, the grasps of K1. Is that his career coming? Yeah, his career comes to the secret shop, grabs the Ags, but Dark Margo, very deep. Roared up, mid BKB, telekinesis to stop the supernova, but there's Solar Guardian healing up the tiny, keeping him in fighting shape, and the Sunray, oh, not quite enough to keep him topped up. K1 still gonna fight forward though. Miracle MC trying to run away, while in the back is Kuro, focused by Schofield and Stinger. Little Bambi, squonking through the trees and overwhelmed by the blink of K1. The rest of Nigma. Can't stick around anymore. No hook shot, but they've got a Starbreaker. Sacred makes the jump. Sumail BKBs. He wants to hit the Dawnbreaker, but he just can't he needs get, to get it out. done. Needs to run away again. Still two minutes left on that Aegis. And K1 in. jumps in. Concoction Abyssal Blade. Good stuns to hold him back, but they've got the damage they need. Schofield in there as well. There's Cogs and Jetpack to try and disengage from the rest of Nigma Galaxy. GH doesn't have a buyback. They are going to be playing against Megas unless they can defend this. Rupture is available in 10. K1. Age is still there for a minute and 40 seconds. Yeah, How do you have stop Echo this? Again. I'll try and go in on him. Sumail. Oh, I don't know about this. Pushed back by the Cogs. No BKB. Sumail tried the old in and out play, but it's all out. Nothing left to give. Stands there in the battery assault while the rest of the team fighting into Stinger and Sacred. Killing off the Phoenix and the Dawnbreaker. Sacred can't withstand that kind of onslaught. And Sumail didn't survive in the end. They didn't get the finish on him. And now Aurora catches K1. Fisher and Stun. They've got the damage from Miracle pummeling into the Alchemist and they take him down. First life though. That's all they've got. And Dark Margo is back in. Doesn't finish anybody off. Nigma pretty oh, tanky. Slow. K1 is in again. His overwhelming blink with a rocket flare to finish. K1's BKB ends nice now, Fisher. though. Might be dangerous with that Fisher block. K1, the Echo Slam, he's dead. Oh, some male dying in the acid spray, though. Darmago and Sting are making the most of it, but Nigma, they hold the final lane of barracks, getting so many kills, and still in the game. Yeah. Might not be oh, for no. long though, because Miracle getting blown up, nearly disposed with by the Tiny, but still alive on 300 HP. Supernova down, 
Dark Margo sticking around, but Kuro and GH unable to do. Oh, can they steal? Any steals? No, GH can't do no, it. Was a little afraid of they it. They need to go back and reposition themselves because this is pretty psychotic. Dark Margo first jumping <laughs> in, like getting killed like that, and now. Like, Scotty, that was picked up by Miracle, did a lot, reducing the healing from Chemical Rage, from Phoenix, from Dawnbreaker as well, and he locks onto the target every single time, and whoever he focuses just dies. Also committing, getting Refresher, might need to buy a book for himself, push him closer to that level 25 on Bloodseeker, so you have four Rupture Charges. 18,000 damage on Bloodseeker. <laughs> Yeah, shard. Wow, uh, shard is yeah. a big deal. Yeah, that's a good point. You were talking about all these strength melee heroes. That that bloodseeker shard is huge. Percentage based damage onto tiny and alk makes a big one difference. One way to deal with bloodseeker because he's the one like pushing out some insane amount of damage is if you buy nullifier, you remove blood rage, and then the shard doesn't work. Hmm, that's a good idea. Tied to it, but so can they could... buy it? Yeah, yeah. Who's gonna buy? Alchemist can always buy it, replace his face boots, but for now, he is going into Aghanim's Scepter. Well, he could just disassemble Radiance, right? He could. Yeah, that's that's an easy one. I forgot about it. They gave Dawnbreaker Aghanim's Scepter, so there's going to be 60% evasion coming out. Who's ruptured? Well, Miracle's been jumped on. Inside the cogs, the roar onto Dark Margo, and a Solar Guardian comes. Miracle's still trapped, though. Does get off the BKB and fights into Stinger. Refreshes up, so a second BKB is available. A chaotic fight as the stuns connect with the Echo Slam. The Alk is trapped, but turns and gets the BKB off. Awesome. Oh, nice Cogs. He's invis with a glimmer. The Cogs are there as well. And Schofield jetpacking over the top. Nigma have spent everything and got very little. The buybacks from Beast Coast will allow them to continue fighting. Sacred. Oh, has he gone too far? The Hulk shot to buy time. And K1, he can come back in. But the Telekinesis lands and he's stunned as Darmago brought back. The Yondits. Toss back, Rubik, Sinny to K1. Oh, he can't Help get him. away. But they'll get the die back on K1. Miracle's oh now being Oh my god, they're actually throwing. Miracle, okay. he's still chasing. He wants, well, yeah, he wants to keep going. Schofield, your tasty little morsel, come over here. Four staff to low ground. Jetpack is ready with the cogs as well. And he'll get over the tree line, away he heads. While Sumail is fighting Sacred down in the river. Oh, the hammer. Guess over they the fissure. They first. do. <laughs> oh, Meanwhile, your tier fours getting fours, killed off dropping. by the creeps. Oh, my neighbor it's Galaxy get a kill. fighting tooth and nail. Everyone I on the edge of their seats, me included. I think it's time to disassemble this Radiance Bloodseeker. He's level 25. Two rupture charges with that refresher. Miracle. Again. His damage in this game through the roof. Also, Beast Coast, they're buying back. Like, they want to close out this game. Let's hit their next Roche respawn timer. This is a big one. That's the third one. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, I mean, that tiny buying back and dying. Six minutes without buyback now. We talk about win conditions. Dark Margo has handed one to Nigma here, potentially. And Alk, with, with all his net worth, 36,000. Miracle isn't that far behind if you, you take into account, you know, the Alk inflation. Lincoln Sphere on the courier killed off. So now he's without a lot of that net worth. Just buy a new one as Alchemist. <laughs> he just keeps up one. another Ags. <laughs> he's like, okay, fine. Dark Mago needs to play a bit of a different game. He can't just blink in like that. Like, he's been blinking inside the enemy base. A couple of times they did manage to force staff him out of the trouble, but Phoenix wasn't there. And now a big item. Heaven's Halberd picked up by Phoenix, which means that he's not going to be able to get the attacks going. So pretty big item. If he can get it off onto Miracle. Mm. It absolutely is. Enigma setting themselves up, though. They see that high ground Beast Coast vision with the gem. The Beast Coast also know that Enigma are around here. 50 seconds for Roche. And both teams just have so much vision. Rocket flares out of this clockwork. And of course, on the other side, Entch Creeps, Beastmaster Hawk, 
And multiple smokes from Nigma to try to reposition themselves. They've got to prune the lanes you know, up against super creeps, top and mid, always having to contend with these stronger creeps. Meaning this Beast Coast can just play leave. bottom. By oh. Deco. Some males in. Got Margo, 2,060 crit, but Schofield with a hook shot. Buying a bit of time for the time to reset. The solar gun is there. They roar up Dark Margo and the damage. Oh, it's so much. Pummels him down and K1, he's in trouble. He's also he ruptured. Up. They've got the Sunray on to K1 to heal him. They yules at the Bloodseeker, stopping him in his tracks. The fish is there. Sumail always oh, created space for the Bloodseeker, but the stuns from Beast Coast, not enough. A triple for Miracle, and he wants Schofield too! The clockwork's down, and a oh, mega, mega ultra kill for Miracle! Seems like they needed a Miracle, and they got him. Like, he's popping off in this game. This is also gonna be Roshan for them. Agadem's Blessing on the menu. Refresher, four Rupture Charges, two BKB Charges. How do you deal with this? This, like... 14, 11k gold lead that they had, it means actually nothing at the moment. Yeah, there's nothing in it. Nigma he keeps won the last three mangoes because he doesn't have enough mana to use all of these rupture charges. Like, even with Scotty, it's still not enough. So he keeps pumping out those mangoes. He's got too many charges. Refresh roll. So he's quite a bit of mana as well. On Beast Coast. And how far the mighty have fallen. This game, it was basically in their hands. They had they had like a 25k net worth lead. Alchemist who seemed unstoppable. Dark Market Tiny who was huge. Two lanes of barracks and Nigma, they fight back. Finding these little openings, <laughs> baiting Beast Coast into these awkward spots, and Miracles Bloodseeker, that last pick, coming out real hot now. Kuroki as CEO got himself Aghanim Scepter upgrade on the Enchantress. With the Sproink, mm. he can deal insane amount of damage. This is, oh, unfortunately on level 15, didn't pick up the 45 damage talent. So oh. not going to have that one. Still a lot of coming out from Bongo Boots and Hurricane Pike. Yeah, you were talking in the previous series how this hero rising to... A high priority in the pick phase because she can scale. You forget about her. She's a little squishy pos five. But 45 minutes into the game, yeah, serious, serious damage output from her. And this entire That's game it. has been Beast Coast picking their moments to try and fight. Now it's Nigma initiating. They've got the rupture on Dark Margo and they've already forced his BKB. Jumping from Scofield, finding Sumail, trapping him in the cogs, and K1's in, getting some stuns, but now he's in the cogs and can't get out. Solar Guardian's there, but Sumail with his BKB running and trying to hide, but the Starbreaker from Sacred closes it out. Aegis still in the hands of Beastmaster, and there is buyback on the Earthshaker. Beast Coast get an important kill and defend that little gathering they were making in the mid lane. Schofield, he's been on point with these hook shots, breaking the fights, going for the target. Also, Yule Scepter. That's one way to deal. Like, that's the spell mechanic against the Bloodseeker. I talked about the Null. I still think he should go for Nullifier. Remove this Radiance. Sure, it gives you, like, evasion, but I think Nullifier is the better one. You can also jump Rubik. Great against Glimmer Cape as well. That Eon Disc is not going to be as good. Fly back to Shaker. Oh, He's done it again. He jumped in deep, but Dark Margo might be in trouble again. Sunray only another one. so much, and another rupture. Down he goes. Dark Margo's gone. Clockwork is falling as well, trying to cyclone and jetpack over the high ground. Supernova's out, and they protect it. Hook shot. The stuns, but the Supernova's gone. The egg is cracked, and Beast goes to fall on flat. Nigma defend their high ground once more, and K1 BKB bash. TP is home. No bash and no stuns, but look at the bottom lane. The push is coming. Nigma in the mid lane defending their throne. It's so close. Beast Coast, they can taste victory, but all they can taste in the end is bitter, bitter defeat in these team fights. I don't know if they can do it anymore. It feels really rough because that tier two, it, like if they killed that tier two tower much earlier i think they could have gotten the mega creeps but now things are looking really really rough for them game is equal you're playing against the alchemist a on this are going to be available on side of nigma galaxy and this refresher pickup from miracle has been on point double bkb multiple rupture charges allowing him to go for the same target reinitiate we really haven't seen dark mago do much in the last like five fights no, no, he, he went from 
what, 12 and 0 to 12 and yeah. 6? Kuro does have Hex. He's pinging okay. it out. K1. That melee creep bodyguarding the alchemist. Turns off his radiance. Hides in the trees. Blinks a little deeper. Oh boy, we've got a game on our hands now. Okay, it was supposed least... to be a clean one. It looked like it was going to be. Yeah, 25, 30 minutes in, it felt like, well, this is over. But Enigma showing resilience, showing their experience in turning these games around. When you look at Sumail, and it's like 5 10 on a, on a mid Earth Shaker, the way his game went the first 20, 30 minutes was incredibly rough. But the damage he's dishing out now is some serious stuff. Alchemist queuing up Ags. He already has it. Tiny also queuing up Divine Rapier. Make it double. <laughs> Prepare for trouble. <laughs> Little Jesse and James out here now. <laughs> I knew it sounded familiar. <laughs> it's been like 30 years Radiant since I saw it. Scanning. I was re-watching it the other week, honestly. I just... Oh, Netflix has Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> let's, put on, let's, put, let's put on some Pokemon. It's like perfect show to watch when you've got a, a cold or the flu or something. Oh, am I crazy? Does Enchant Totem Ags give a true strike or is it just the cleave? You can still miss, right? Uh, you caught me. Like, before it sure did, it was always a true strike. I'm not sure if it they did, right? removed it. Yeah, but I still think it is. I still think it's a true strike. Okay. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure on it. I'm, yeah. We'll see what happens in the upcoming fights, because it's... You know, Sumail's doing, like, 2.1, 2.2k damage with a hit. Oh, a crit hit on Ooh, enchant. It just spawned Dark Mago. Oh, Sell that bottle hello. by Divine Rapier. Because he lacks oh, a little yeah. bit of extra gold. The clockwork's in. He's ruptured and killed with impetus shots. Ooh, not quite. The double cyclone and a force staff, but he's dead before he can hook shot. Can't get away from there, and Stinger has to force the high ground now. It's Miracle with his BKB. Sees a target in the trees. It's K1, and They're now it's the supernova. It Abyssal Blade is there to try and control Miracle, and he's down. K1 had the damage. They got the egg, though, and GH gonna steal out. Oh, it's just a Starbreaker, sadly. Kuroki glimmers up. Divine trying Rapier. to focus down the edge. Dark Mago, can he get another three volley? Five seconds. He's, he's going getting for close. it. He's in the trees. He's BKB. Look at him the go. tree volley's come. Sumail, two hits, and he's done. Down goes the Earthshaker, and he'll jump onto the Beastmaster as well. He on this is there. MC, he can't. He can't do it. K1 and Dark Mago, too much to handle right now. And Sacred's going to find a stun on to Kuro. Oh, Negma. An ultra for Dark Mago puts Beast Coast in good stead to take this game now. But what a fight back from Nigma Galaxy. Oh, Samael, he had his A on this, but got crit two times in a row. Not fast enough to click on it. Can Miracle die? No BKB on him. If they kill him, that's game over. Dark Mago, him to high ground. Looking. Dark he's Mago, looking. Invis, tree volley, two hits, a couple of trees tossed his way. The Avalanche, the Scythe, turn around, play. Miracle tries to stand and fight, but there's no way. That's Two game. minutes with no Bloodseeker, and that's going to be game now. A valiant effort from Nigma Galaxy, but Beast Coast, they levy their advantage. They take game one here. Well, Dark Mago might and die my here. My goodness gracious, <laughs> Dark Mago going into Fountain with Sacred. Tries to chuck the trees at them again, and down they fall, tumbling. GG called out a miracle, and Beast Coast, 52 minutes it took to really finish and close out this game a close one in the end but some serious trauma <laughs> definitely what a game